With this experiment, we're going to explore heat conductivity. We're going to see how different materials will conduct heat. I'm placing an ice cube on each of those surfaces. We have plastic, metal, and wood. And we're going to see which ones will conduct heat the fastest. And we'll know it conducts heat the fastest because it will be the ice cube to melt the quickest. Let's see how they do. Alright, so that's been two minutes. Not a whole lot of time, but let's see how we're doing. We really don't have a whole lot of movement here uh, between the plastic, uh, the plastic and the wood, but the metal is way, way far ahead. It has melted pretty close to half of that ice cube uh, in just two minutes, whereas the other ones, it's not even really wet there. Uh, I would have to say between the two, the, the, obviously metal is the first, wood is probably third with plastic in a close second. So the question is, why? Why did that metal melt it so gosh darn quickly? Well, some people say, well, it's a metal, of course it melts it quickly. Yeah, but, but why does a metal melt it so quickly? Well, because it's a conductor, metal's a conductor. Yeah, but why is metal a conductor? Why is it so good at doing that? And once again, the answer is, of course, particles. In metal, it's a very, very strong, uh, strong substance because the particles are so close together. Whereas in plastic, the particles are further apart. And in wood, they're further apart as well. But also, all through wood, you have pockets of air. Now remember, air pockets are an excellent insulator because the further apart particles are, the worse they are at transferring energy to each other. In metal, they're so close together, they can transfer energy so quickly. So when you put the ice on top of it, uh, remember, heat likes to be evenly spread out. When you put the ice on top, it will uh, conduct that heat energy into the ice to spread that out. But now these particles in the metal slow down. But don't worry, other ones can pass them that heat energy very quickly. Whereas in plastic, it's much further apart and it takes a while for it to pass it that heat energy. So that's why metal is such a good conductor. Now here's the interesting thing. If you were to touch each of these, you would find that the metal feels the coldest, which is strange. How can a, a material that feels the coldest actually be melting the fastest? And the thing is, it doesn't, they are all actually very close in temperature. But how can that be? When I touch this one, it feels much more uh, cold on my hands than the other two. Well, the thing is, it's not actually cold. It is actually such a good conductor that it pulls the heat energy away from your hand as soon as you touch it. Because that heat energy likes to be evenly spread and your hand is pretty warm. And I can prove it. Let me, let me see here. So I have uh, a little uh, device here which can measure temperature at a distance. And it can tell you how uh, the temperature of something without actually having to touch it. So there's no conduction involved. So our plastic kind of measures in at about 24 degrees Celsius. Our wood kind of measures in at about 25-ish mm, about degrees Celsius, 26, somewhere around there. And our metal over here is about 25, 24 as well there, 23. So all three of these are within one or two degrees of each other. The metal, because the particles are so close together, is just so good at conducting heat energy that it makes it feel cold. So obviously a metal is the clear winner here and now we're up to five minutes and look at the plastic there. Uh, if you have a peek at that one, it's hardly, uh, hardly melted at all. Uh, whereas if you have a look over at the wood there, we have a little bit of melting, uh, uh, hardly any melting there. So uh, pretty clear winner for which one conducts heat energy the best.